in the morning. What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey, up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Heard I in the morning. Way hey, up she rises. Way hey. She rises, way head up, she rises, her eye in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober, put him in the brig until he's sober, put him in the brig until he's sober, her eye in the morning. Way head up, she rises, way head up, she rises, way head up, she rises, her eye in the morning. Drunken sailor, what will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Heard I in the morning. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Heard I in the morning. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Drunken sailor, what will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Heard I in the morning. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Heard I in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Heard I in the morning. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Way up she rises. Heard I in the morning. Drunken sailor, what will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Heard I in the morning. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Way head up, she rises. Heard I in the morning. 
Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Bird eye in the morning. Way head up she rises. Way head up she rises. Way head up she rises. Bird eye in the morning. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Bird eye in the morning. Way up she rises. Way head up she rises. Way head up she rises. Bird eye in the morning. Ahoy, everyone. How are we doing this wonderful Saturday afternoon? Ahoy, ahoy, and ahoy. Hello, Vissy and Gary. How are we doing? Mecca, how you do? Exactly. See, shanties, you need them all the time. I'm doing fantastic. Fan flipping tastic. You know, a good sea shanty every once in a while is needed to, you know, brighten up your day. And you just, you don't realize until you hear a sea, good old proper sea shanty that you're like, I need that in my life. And then you go onto the interwebs, a flip cart is actually what we're making today is uh, the woodworking plans from Fisher Shop. Uh, Fisher Shop is a YouTube channel and uh, he's a fantastic YouTuber, fantastic YouTuber, um, hilarious. He has, he's, he's a pretty funny guy, but uh, a flip cart is this, where it's two tools on one cart and it flips. So this is what we're making today. Um, we're gonna at least start uh, breaking down all the uh, the wood, and at least hopefully get that far today. So that way, uh, uh, hopefully tomorrow we can maybe do some assembly. But hopefully today, you know, after spending you know eight. <laughs> That's right, talking eighteen. Uh, um. But yeah, please go check out, uh, I, I know partnership or whatever with Fisher Shop or whatever. It's just, I really like his YouTube channel. I really liked his design on the, uh, the flip cart. Um, so I, I purchased the plans for his uh, flip cart. So we're gonna, we're gonna make, we're gonna make that, boom. Uh, uh, obviously, I'm going to have my spindle sander and my new uh, porter cable uh, disc and belt sander on it. And then I'll free up some area over here. That way I can get... Uh... <laughs> I know. I usually never use plans, but I like his, I liked it. Yes, I mean, uh, I didn't know if I ever would ever want a flip cart, but I'm getting more and more tools, and, you know, it looks like I have a lot of room, but uh, that way, hopefully, it frees up some room over here. That way, I can move uh, at least one of my bandsaws over here and, you know, free up a little bit of space over there where my miter saw is, so I don't have to keep on some moving some stuff around. It is. Uh, now these plans call for three quarter inch and half inch plywood. So, you know, after spending $8,000 at the uh, local Home Depot, buying some uh, three quarter inch plywood and half inch plywood, we are going to uh, break down some of that today because that's what you do when you build things. Um, we, so if I show you here, so, oh man, my, Microphone's getting caught on something. What's it getting caught on? It's getting caught on itself. So if you see down here with a drawer, I'm going to modify it a little bit and do some rabbits and... 
Uh, I paid $67 for three quarter inch uh, plywood. $67 for one sheet. So right here where above the drawer and below the drawer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, a dado and some rabbits. So I'm gonna modify the design a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's still the oof. Yeah, Micah, it's ridiculous. I had two by fours, so I didn't have to buy some two by fours because it called for at least one two by four for the flip cardy portion of it, the flip top. Um, there wasn't too much things I had to buy, but the two sheets of plywood, um, the pipe that goes through it, and a couple other little brackets and stuff, and the drawer slides. So most of the stuff I already had, hardware and screws and stuff. So, uh, Oof, that's ridiculous. Oof, man, that is just ridiculous. But uh, so we're, uh, I'm gonna modify it just slightly because a bunch of his joints, uh, they're excellent plans, but uh, almost all his joints are butt joints. I'm gonna do some rabbits and some dados and some other stuff just to uh, uh, beef it up a little bit. Um, and make it. Uh, I think a little. I think it'll make it a little more solid than just straight uh, butt joints with pocket holes. Hee hee hee. But so right, right here. That's not a drawer. That's j the drawer is down here. This is a drawer. So this is actually. It's going to be thick, right? And what the the plans call for is putting a power strip strip in between the two. Uh, and then putting the cords in there uh, into the power strip and then the cord for the power strip running through the pipe that goes to the middle that it flips on. Um, so that way it looks like there's a drawer, but there is no drawer. There's only a drawer on the bottom of it. But uh, as we start building, uh, it'll probably make a lot more sense. But today, like I said, we're just going to be cutting some wood and breaking down the sheets of plywood and getting our... Uh, all our pieces cut up and uh, get ready for hopefully assembly tomorrow some of it anyway so we can hope for that tomorrow but how's everyone doing today on this wonderful Saturday afternoon or evening or morning or whatever time it may be for and whatever part of this wonderful world we have DC how you doing do you see finding those new emotes? Yes, so uh, not much DC, not much. Enjoy my Saturday afternoon. DC found the follower emotes. So uh, for some of y'all might not know, uh, Twitch uh, chose me, uh, I'm sure with a part of other people to be a part of the beta for follower emotes. So the follower emotes are good for everyone, if you're a follower, but they can only be used in my channel. And if you look at them, two of them, the two pirate ship ones, were, oh man, 3 a.m., holy cow. I messaged you uh, on Discord yesterday, DC, I'm not sure if you saw it, but the two pirate ship emotes, uh, were designed by Tink Live. So those two are straight from Tink for the follower emotes. Yeah, so those uh, those two emotes were designed by Tink and those are uh Yes, so I, you know, I, I was kind of excited when I had the email from Twitch and said I was chosen for the beta program for the follower emotes. Um, I'm sure they're going to send me another email and, email and say, how, what do you think about it and stuff like that? And I'll be more than happy to tell them. I think it's a fantastic idea. And then also with that, I understand why they say that the follower emotes can only be used in your channel. Um, which is understandable. I mean, it's for your followers. It's for your channel. It's, you know, a little something extra for your followers. And then, of course, the subscribers get the other emotes that they can use everywhere. But uh, 
I think it's it's a, it's a nice little thing that Twitch is trying to you know testing the waters, dipping their little pinky toe in there, testing the water, see how it goes. Um, but yeah. So the followers get a few emotes. I get up to five. I think I have a spot for one more. Haven't decided what it's gonna be. Um, I still need some other emotes for like, not that I have any, two, tier two and tier three subs. Not that I expect any of that because I think that's just entirely way too much to spend a month on subscribing for somebody. I, I mean, I don't care about the subscribers. I just want y'all to be here and have fun. And then uh, for uh, bit donations, um, uh, I need to decide on emote for that because if you do donate so many bits, you, there's the emote for that. But I tell you what, it gets crazy with emotes. And then are some of these people that are partnered with Twitch that have like 15 or 20 emotes, I'm like, holy guacamole! How it, it's a, coming up with stuff for emotes is just insane in the membrane. It is insane. I just don't get it. It's like. Okay, you know, you have a few. <laughs> I, I do like the Jackbox. I, I, I tend to come up with some, uh, uh, I'd say either funny or lewd uh, stuff for the Jackbox sometimes. Because uh, I think uh, one time when uh, Boyd did it with some other makers, I was there in the audience and joined in a little bit. And, uh, you know, eh, most some of my little Jackbox stuff is not, let's say, uh, it's 18 plus material, I could say, sometimes, probably all the time, you know? Who were you playing uh, Jackbox stuff with there, uh, DC? <laughs> uh, I hear that one, DC. I hear that one. I hear that one. But yeah, so I spent, you know, I think... What? And I wasn't even there. Oh my goodness. This is... This, I am flabbergasted, DC. Just simply flabbergasted. But, uh, so flip cart. So we're going to be making this uh, flip cart here from uh, Designs by Fisher Shop. He's a YouTuber. Uh, purchased these plans. Um, so I had most of the hardware, nuts, bolts, screws, doohickeys, thingamabobs, and who's it's and what's it's galore. Uh, so I didn't have to spend too much almost it was like two hundred dollars for just some sheets of plywood and some other stuff so that was redonkulous um uh but it is what it is because wood prices are still stupidly expensive well i mean last night dc not to hold it against you i was playing some sea of thieves last night last night was uh sea of thieves night with my buddies we were doing the uh, the uh, they had a new update that added some uh, pirates of the Caribbean stuff to the uh, Sea of Thieves. So we were finishing up all those tall tales last night, and then we were going around harassing people. Uh, well, I mean, if you got a place to do it, I mean, and because some of those portable uh, trailer bandsaws are not cheap. The good ones are not cheap. They're Canadian. But yeah, so we were doing some sailing around, uh, doing some tall tales, and then, you know, doing the uh, usual sinking people. Um, doing the usual sinking people, having fun. Just making some room over here because we're going to have to get, break down the sheets of plywood over here on the, the workbench. And surprise, surprise, I have a metric ton of stuff underneath this cart here. Ugh.
because I'm not going to try and break down a three quarter inch sheet of plywood on my table saw. So I'm going to plop it up on the workbench, put a couple pieces of wood under it to lift it up and use my uh, circular saw. I don't have a track saw, so we're just going to have to uh, use some uh, straight edge. I exaggerate a little bit sometimes, Mecca. I just sometimes exaggerate. Not all the time, just sometimes. But, uh, so I'm not going to try that. So we're just going to put it on here, put a couple pieces of wood on it to bring it up off of the uh, workbench here and uh, break it down. Oh, there we go. No new workbench. Boom. We're done for the stream right there. New workbench top. We're done for the stream. Bye, everyone. <laughs> JK. JK. All right, let's get to the part that tells us. what we need to cut out on our three quarter. And like I said, we're gonna modify it just slightly cause, here, let me switch to the close up camera. Be, that's a better camera than my main camera anyway. Uh, come on, there we go. So he has the bottom here and then the little shelf here as butt joints. Well, I'm gonna dado that and put a rabbit on the bottom for uh, more strength. So we gotta add a little bit to uh, that piece and that piece. So. We're going to do a quarter inch dado and rabbit. So then a quarter inch on each side. So we got to add a half inch to that overall size that's already on uh, the cutout sheet. To uh, give, us con give us consistency. Consistency. And I know it's weird that... Uh, I'm using plans because usually in these parts, we never use plans. We wing it. That's what we do around here. We wing it. But we're not winging it this time. Uh, it needs to be, uh, if we're going to wrap it, it needs to be half inch longer because what it calls for to keep the, the size of the cart Okay, yeah, you're right. My uh, my eyeballs did deceive me, but uh, I guess those Canadian eyeballs of yours uh, are much better than mine. So actually, we don't. This is true. So it actually does need to be shorter is what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Yes.
just make sure we get this right because I'm not going to cut something. I mean, we do have, I do have another piece of three quarter over there that was from a different project. So if we mess up on some of this, I still have some over there to uh, try again from a different project. So it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would just be partially end of the world if uh, I mess up a cut or two. I'm not going to go for three because if I uh, if I mess up three cuts, then I'm going to spend another thousand dollars on a sheet of plywood. You have fun planting them trees. Get to get us some of them trees so we can have some of that high quality oxygen. Well, I mean, there is an upside to that. Playing uh, the long game. Okay. The sides. So 30 and a quarter. And, ooh, look at this. I actually found a tape measure first try. Yay! Well, I mean, once you plant it and it gets big enough to like harvest or whatnot, they might get upset uh, that you're cutting down a tree at your apartment complex. I mean, that could be me, just me. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but <laughs> well, let's hope not either, because I know you want a some place that has a proper workshop. Yeah, I know you need a shop. A good old straight edge. Uh, let's go with a good old pencil. Oh, bacon. Is it Canadian bacon? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I should just put on my uh, on my apron because I always have a uh, tape measure in that. I always stash uh, tape measures all over the shop because I always lose them or, m or misplace them. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> all right. So we're going to break this down at 30 and a quarter. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Ugh. It'd be the, it's going to be the most polite bacon in the entire world. I need to remember to put on my safety glasses and as uh, Lettuce would say, safety first and it's for the kids. All the kids watching. Or as uh, Mike Rowe would say, uh, safety third. Safety third. Boom, 
Oh, I have. Let's use these. We'll use these. Get ourselves a nice straight line. We like knack knack nice straight lines. We don't want any crooked lines. We need them to be nice and straight. Nice and straight. <laughs> Ooh, straight line. Straight, perfect lines. That safety squint, though, I'll tell you what, that's OSHA approved. Ask me and I'll tell you. The safety squint. It's like when you see people on uh, the, uh, on some of them YouTube videos where they uh, are doing some, like, little spot welding. And then they'll, like, close their eyes real quick while, uh, while doing a little bit of quick spot welding. I, I, in high school, I did take welding class, and I'll tell you what, that uh, that can really jack up your eyeballs, because I had a buddy that uh, did the old welding squint when uh, he was doing some... Uh, Some welding and it really jacked up his eyes. It was uh, no bueno. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Do 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 do. That's not my electrical cord. I tell you what, uh, seems like that thing keeps getting higher and higher. You know, it's times like this when you see some of them uh, those YouTube videos where they just slap their track saw on there and they're like zippity zippity doo da day. And I'm like, man, I wish I had me one of them. But then you look up some of the prices on them and you're like, hey, I'm good. I'll just take a little more time setting up my circular saw, making sure it's right. I'm good. I don't uh, I don't want to spend that kind of money. Cuz I don't I do believe that I would not use it enough to uh uh justify its cost so to speak. Because I mean, even in some of the uh, the lower end ones are uh, so that is one and three eighths are still not uh, cheap 
I mean, you're talking for the track and the saw, at least four or 500 for one of those. Did I say? Ugh, I'm like, why does that look so close? Because it's one, one in three. It's not just three eighths. I would have jacked that up to no end if I had to start cutting that. And then I would have been like, son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. La 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 So anybody do anything exciting today? Anything going on that's worthwhile to share? To share with the class? Oh, that's some high quality H2O. And then we'll we'll have our coffee chaser. Mmm. Coffee. The sweet nectar of life. Mmm. Sweet nectar of life. That's what coffee is. Mm-hmm. 
And see, this is why I said, hopefully we get everything broke down today. I mean, because most of the time, assembly can go pretty quick. It's just... Make sure you get your cuts right. I think we're good to go. A loud noises. We have one, made one cut. One cut. I think I might have lettuce beat on the uh, on the time it takes to make one cut. I'm not sure though. He works pretty quick in his workshop. I think out of all the makers and crafters, he can get the most done in the shortest amount of time. Lettuce is a speed demon when it comes to uh, making the stuff. Oh, I didn't turn on my air compressor. I'm a big dummy head. Air compressor requires power to generate the, the compressed air. And without the electricity turned on, we have no compressed air. And our sheet of plywood continues to get smaller. Um, there's my fox tail from my little brush. And we just fling it on the floor because that's what we do around here. Eventually, it'll be a day of cleaning. Ha! Ah, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? So we have. 25 and one half. Boom. So twenty five and one half. And I know doing this straight line's probably unnecessary, but I still like to have it. I 
kind of know that I'm still going straight all the way down. And I don't get any, uh, any veering. While I'm, uh, doing my circular saw of cutting. Circular saw of cutting. Looks good. Looks good. So, for some reason, my measurement was off just a tad. Oh. Go right. Right here. Right here. It's a technical term. I'm full of them. I'm full of them. Ask me and I'll tell you. So we don't get any wobble. We don't like the wobble. Five. F, so we remember. Do you remember? Double check. Boom. Because as they say, measure 15 times, cut three times. Oh, I love high quality H2O. It's amazing. And then the high quality coffee. Mm. Love the coffee. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
And then once we get these cut down, the other cuts we can actually make on the table saw. So that'll be nice. Once we get everything cut down this way. A loud noise. But we still have half inch sheet of plywood to cut down after this, but not too many cuts, mainly for the drawer. As the drawer that's on the bottom. This one is so one to four. Twenty four, twenty four hours ago, I want to be sedated. Should we write that down? Because if not, then I'm going to forget. Because I forget everything. And then we'll measure out for where to place my straight edge. Let's do that here as well. Because everything is awesome when you're part of a team. And mark a little bit of a straighted where we're gonna actually be cutting just to make sure i don't veer off anywhere you always got to be careful you just gotta check it every once in a while make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing Cause I'll tell you what, those that auto drive on a Tesla, that still flabbergasts me. The amount of work and coding and whatever algorithms and far more advanced stuff than I know about that had to go into creating that is just mind boggling. And I'll tell you what, some of those uh, Teslas do look mighty appealing. Mighty appealing.
I see that's it. I've been seeing more and more of those Teslas on the road, and as they go by, I'm like, man, that would be really nice to have one of those. But I tell you what, you look at them and you start doing some options on them and stuff, and it's like, ugh, no, thank you. Granted, they're not like overly expensive, but I'm a cheap guy. Speaking of, uh, I, I know I always hum the Indiana Jones theme song, but I'll tell you what, did y'all hear that they're going to start filming the next uh, installment of the Indiana Jones? If they haven't already, which I am ecstatic for. I mean, granted, I don't remember when, like, I don't know, uh, the first two, when those came out, I don't remember seeing any like previews on TV. Maybe I was just too young. But Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, when I remember when that was coming out to theaters and all the commercials coming along out for that, and then uh, some of the uh, like McDonald's was doing a Indiana Jones like Happy Meal, and they were doing some commercials and like. Uh, I think it was either Pepsi or Coke was doing some uh, commercials with Indiana Jones type uh, theme about it. I just thought it was spectacular to remember with that when it came out. And if any of y'all are fans of the Indiana Jones, which all of you should be because Indian Jones is a staple in cinema history. Uh, end of the movie when they go through the canyon of the crescent moon and they go to the uh that temple of the last night uh that ancient city is actually called petra right and it's more than just that one little building of course the inside doesn't look anything like that because that's a movie set but the outside looks exactly like that in the movie and believe it or not i have been to petra and stood in front of that and when you go through the Canyon of the Crescent Moon, like in the movies where they're on the horseback and all of a sudden you come to the little gap and poof, you see that building. That's exactly how it is in real life. Amazing. Amazing. Once in a lifetime bucket list thing checked off. Visit Petra. And but the whole city of Petra is, was just an outstanding uh, uh archaeological area to go visit and see and learn about um, and stuff like that but uh, it was a once in a lifetime thing uh, I've been lucky enough to visit places like that in my uh, Navy career and uh, that was one of the I think one of the most spectacular places that I have visited while being in the Navy Right, move cord over. Make sure we're still tracking. All right, loud noise.
Wait. We still have to cut those down a little bit more, but the other cuts we can do on the table saw. At least I'm hoping that's what we can do. And always when I say we, I use the metaphorical we. Y'all are here just for moral support and trolliness as you should be. Now I had found a great piece of three quarter rod there. Ugh. But the half inch was not the best. But that's okay. Because once again, the quality of wood is crushing death and grief, soaked with blood of the trespassing feet. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, everyone. Wolfren, thank you. Thank you for the raid. Full sin, that's right, Gabs. That is right. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. I'm sure some of y'all are watching the, uh, the good old ad that Twitch requires everyone to watch. It's like a rite of passage to watch somebody stream nowadays. Welcome and thank you, Wolfram. Thank you, thank you. Were you doing uh, some rod making or were you actually doing some fishing today there, uh, Wolfram? Well, welcome in, Raiders. I am Obsessed Pirate. I do woodworking in uh, my humble little shop here. I appreciate you bringing in all your friends, Wolfram. You are a lord, a lord of the fishing rods. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is fantastic. Let me change my batteries. There we go. My battery's are about to die. Wolfram comes in with a raid. Battery's about to die. Hashtag pro streamer. So how's everyone doing today? Look at all your friends you brought with you, Wolfram. You are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Gabs, I wish I could catch more of your streams if I, but you are always streaming so early. I'm at work and I'm like, I can catch like a snit, like a little tidbit of it, like right before I go to work or something, or if I have the day off or something, but I wish I could catch more of your streams. You're the Lordess of the fishing. But today, we are starting on making a flip cart. And if you don't know what a flip cart is, I shall show you. So a flip cart is a cart that flips that has two tools on it so it can save you some space in your workshop. Could be like two tools that you don't use like on a super regular basis. Uh, and the thing just flips. 
and that way you have two tools, one cart, and you uh, you can save yourself a little space. And that's what I need to do because I got a spindle sander and a belt and disc sander that I need to put on this to save me some space over here because I really need to move one of my band saws over here because in this workshop area, I'm running out of space to uh, move all my stuff around and have a good feng shui of my workspace. Because feng shui is not only important in the house, but also in the workshop. So I purchased these plans from Fisher Shop. He's a, he's a YouTube channel, Fisher Shop. I would highly recommend checking out his channel if you do get a chance. Uh, he's hilarious and he has absolutely spe spectacular content. I really enjoy watching his, uh, his videos. And for the added bonus, at the end of all of his uh, videos, he has like a little bit of a, a blooper reel, reel of uh, stuff that he's, uh, he's done while he was doing his, uh, his filming, which is always uh, enjoyable to watch. Um, so if you ever do uh, get a chance, please check out his YouTube channel. Uh, and I am a huge schmuckatelli and did not do a shout out for you, Wolfram, because hashtag pro streamer. And Gabs, make sure I get you one too because your content's absolutely spectacular as well. But once again, Wolfman, I really appreciate you bringing your friends in with you. All you lovely Raiders. Y'all are amazing. Amazing. So today we're hoping to get all the wood broke down to cut the size so that way tomorrow we can hopefully get some assembly done. No promises, but that's what we're shooting for anyway. That's what we're shooting for. Did uh, Wolfram have to uh, raid and run? Or did my stream jack up and, and y'all can't hear me or something?
I had to buy this whole sheet of half inch plywood. And what I'm about to cut is all I need for the half inch. But I got it for whenever my next project when I build. Uh, so I got my charging station over there for all my cordless tools and everything. Well, I got more cordless tools and I got some more stuff and a new design. So we're going to make that bigger and better. Because why not? Bigger and better. So I'll have uh, this and that sheet of quarter. And I got some uh, one quarter over there as well. Almost enough for a mortgage payment. Uh, and we'll use that for that project. So I shouldn't have to buy anything for that project, which will be nice. The, uh, the wife will be happy about that. Because when I had to go buy the supplies for this, I had a bunch of the supplies, just not the, all the plywood I needed. She's like, but how much you going to go spend? And I was like, well, I hope wood prices came down a little bit, which they did a little bit. Because, I mean, a, a sheet of three-quarter plywood at its peak was darn near $80 which is just ridiculous for a sheet of three quarter plywood, just ridiculous. And I, I'm not, I don't know how many woodworkers we got out there right now, but there's a lot of uh, uh, memes going around or even photos of what a thousand dollars of construction lumber would buy you pre COVID and what a thousand dollars of the same stuff would cost you in stack rides uh, is there's a dramatic difference. Canadian the bacon was good as long as it was Canadian bacon then uh, it's all good now do you cook your bacon in the oven or do you use a uh, on the cooktop which way do you do it Florida bacon I don't know if I've ever had Florida bacon is there a difference between Florida bacon and Canadian bacon I do my bacon in the oven as well. I, th I find that I get a, good, a lot more uh, evenness, and it's a lot harder to burn or crispify, because I like my, my bacon like right in between the, the crispy and the soggy. There's a phase right there. That's why I like mine. Cooked in Florida. <laughs> I do like that thick sliced bacon. Now, the... The, my favorite brand of bacon is uh, Wright brand bacon. It, it's W-R-I-T, W-R-I-G-H-T, but it's good. Yes. And it has like, uh, you know, some of the little fatty parts you bite into it. It's like a little, almost like a crisp outside. And then you get the, the, the pop of the juiciness of the fat of the bacon. Mmm. Magnifique. Magnifique. It's so delicious. Make sure I wrap my thighs on this, even though it's only one. That's the half inch. Just to keep track of stuff. All right. A loud noises again. <laughs> Ooh, I just do mine in my our regular oven. I never tried the uh, the toaster oven. But, I mean, when we're cooking bacon and whatnot and stuff, it's for, you know, there's four of us. So, I mean, it's just you, so you probably don't need to cook as much as I do.
that some days I'll just plop a, a tray of bacon in the, uh, the oven, just eat bacon for breakfast. Because America. And why not? America. Nothing wrong with that. So just a just a light breakfast is what you had there, uh, Canadian. Just a light breakfast. <laughs> a snack. A snack, he says. Yeah, I usually, uh, I usually eat myself a, a good breakfast, especially on the weekends, and then uh, I won't eat a lunch. It, usually, I'm streaming, and uh, I don't like stopping, and... Uh, what I'm doing and going to eat some lunch or something. And most of the time I'm not even hungry. So, I mean, there's that too. Do -do, do -do. Well, I, I mean, you have to remember, I have uh, climate control out here. So, I mean, right now, here in the workshop, it's 77. My little, my little digital thermostat dilly whopper over there says it's 37. Yeah? You do have a point. You have a point. That's the saw blade I want. It's not the saw blade I want. Unplug the machine. We must unplug the machine. Yes, it's all about the left-handedness. Well, this is a, just a basic I mean, it's fine cross-cut cross uh, construction saw, but I want something actually you know what? We can use this one. I thought this was my dull one. Because I was ripping down some stuff a while ago, and I couldn't remember if I changed it or not. So we can use this one.
because sometimes when I'm cutting down some stuff that really doesn't matter about the if I get a chip out on the edge or not I'll use my not so good blades that way I'm not dulling my expensive ones but I forgot that I had changed to a better one a while ago. So, we are gonna just use this one. Gotta love that squeak. Gotta love that squeak. Let's get our shits of paper and make sure we cut these down to the proper sizes. So it looks like 20. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Boop. 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 Yeah, but you know, sometimes those left-handed blades also get very expensive there, uh, Canadian. So I, most of the time I'm sticking with the, uh, the right-handed blade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 20, gonna double check, check super tight, that is it, 20, we are going to turn on dust collection, we are going to turn on the saw.
boom, boom, boom. Check off our list. Boom, boom. This is four, still at twenty. And this will be Boom. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Five. Yes. Sure. All right, that. And this will be the the bottom. Boom, a bottom. And all right. Uh, 
drop this down to six. Six. Six inches. Six inches. Because this is going to be the drawer face. I cannot spell. This still needs to be cut down, though. Boom. Out of the 24, another six inches. We get down to six inches. The six inches. My wrenches keep on falling on the ground. We'll just keep them on the ground. That's where we'll keep them. Uh, let's put the cart back. Boom. That piece is to the correct dimension. It is to the correct dimension. All right, the three inches. This needs to be a set to three inches. Three inches. Shakalaka. Boom, 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 boom. Is and these also need to be cut down a little bit more. Boom, 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 24 inches, 24 hours ago, I want to be stated. Boom. 
Copy. Foe to foe. Twenty foe. Double check. Let's make sure it's twenty foe. Twenty foe, twenty foe. Twenty foe, twenty foe, twenty foe. Let's go over to the Matasa. The mitering of the saw. It's a mighty year saw. No pun intended. No pun intended. Bloop. And those pieces have been complete. Mwah, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Those are like perfect. Perfect, I tell you. But I say that now and I probably jinxed myself. Probably jacked everything up. All right, that and that and that. So all of our pieces from our three quarter inch plywood have been cut to their proper sizes. And now we move on to our half inch, half inch plywood. Half inch plywood. Eighteen of the inches. Check eighteen. This is, why do I keep, I want to draw, make a D and I keep on putting B's. It's the drawer bottom, but it's the drawer bottom. Well, hello, my loving wife. You're home. You have sacks of stuff. You got me something. Are those fancy chocolates? 
raspberry stuff. Ooh. Where'd y'all go? Thompson. Oh. Is this where we're going? Oh. Ah. Ooh. Spending all my hard earned money. I take my own money. All right. As long as you had fun. Love you. I love you too. All right, all right. Bow and a half is our next one. Half. Four and a half. Next. Four cuts. Yo, yo, well, thank you for the following free fall clash. Welcome to my workshop. I appreciate that follow. How are you doing today? It is, it is. I enjoy it. That is good to hear, Free Fall. What have you been up to on this fabulous Saturday afternoon? Anything exciting going on? And every time. Ooh, pure excitement. That's what I hear. Pure excitement. How many chisels are going to be sharpened today? And what method do you use to sharpen? You use a seven. Well, I wouldn't, that's not too bad. I mean, but you, you gotta. Ooh, water stones. I, I've seen quite a few people do it, you know, with the water stones. Let me turn my dust collection off. Because um, I'm not sure if y'all can hear that. I do have some pretty good filters. Um, with uh, the water stones, I mean, I see a lot of people that swear by them, and then a lot of people that swear by the uh, diamond stones. Uh, I myself... Uh, uh, when uh, I do need to sharpen, I have found that, uh, you know, a big slab of granite and, uh, you know, progressing grades of, uh, 
you know, the uh, wet sandpaper worked pretty darn well um, for myself. Um, I've never used the wet stones or the, now I've used uh, the diamond uh, ones for when I need to sharpen like uh, some of my uh, Forstner bits or router bits or something like that, or maybe my carbide tips for when I do turning. But uh, I mean, there's all sorts of different ways to sharpen it, but, uh, and then also you have the Tormax, which are pretty darn amazing, but uh, with a pretty darn amazing uh, price tag. But that's uh, the life of uh, woodworker galore. You get, you want something like, oh man, I really like that. And then you start adding stuff to your cart and you're like, sweet baby molasses, what the heck is going on here? But you pay for what you get. You got to spend the money. Otherwise, you can get the cheap crap that you have to keep on buying over and over again. Uh, I did, it, it did take a lot of sandpaper at first, but then I started, I bought higher quality sandpaper, and I, I could get through a set of chisels through the progressing uh, different grits with only using one sheet for like a whole set of uh, chisels, I have found anyway. Uh, because I will use, hey, I have so much shit stacked on it. I'll use the Norton sandpaper, which I found pretty good. The Norton wet sandpaper to be pretty darn good. Uh, huh? I do not have it all put together yet. I got most of the pieces cut down. Busiest of bees. Yeah, I really like the Norton sandpaper. I mean, I really don't cheap out when I buy sandpaper due to the fact that, uh, like, when I use get sandpaper for my uh, orbital sander or belt sander or something like that, uh, I tend just to gear towards uh, Diablo because as long as you have... Oh, okay. Because with the sandpaper, as long as you got yourself a good... Uh, you know, sandpaper eraser, even on the orbital sander, you can hit it with this, and that Diablo sandpaper will ask, last you quite some time. And, you know, you buy a big pack of it, and it'll last you a long time, you know. Unless you buy, you know, you can go to, like, dollar store or something like that and get some sandpaper, but it's just, it's just not the quality that you're looking for. All right, so boom, 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 checkity, check, check, check a roo. And now we have a two by four to cut down.
which uh, my lovely wife is standing on top of. Uh, just today. Uh, a little bit. Maybe I'm just trying to suck up a little bit. It probably will. No. Crushing death and grief, soaked with blood of the trespassing thief. That's right, Freefall. Chevy, Chevy, thank you. Welcome in, Raider. Chevy, you lord. Tink, Irinus, what is up, Jack? How is everyone doing? Tall guy, what's going on? Did you get all your hand stitching done, Chevy? All the corn. Only the cool kids got the corn. Did you get all your hand stitching done there, Chevy? <laughs> But you have your handy dandy new little uh, vicey thing. You gotta fix stuffs. What stuffs need the fixing? Holes don't line up, but you are a le professional. It's perfect just the way it is, Chevy. The, the slight minor. Minor, 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 you know, little nuances of what makes it perfect. And you know it's handmade. Hence, the hand sewing. Follow, speaking of directions, I'm actually using plans today for this flip cart, believe it or not. Plans, actual plans. It's crazy. It's insane in the membrane. It's crazy. We've uh, we've been breaking down all the plywood and everything today. And then I was looking for a pencil that I usually put back in my pocket. But I don't know. It's sitting right up here on my dang, uh, right here, you know, where I laid it down. Because that's what happened in. So how are we doing, Raiders? I hope everyone's doing a fantastic on this wonderful Saturday afternoon. Yeah, Boss Pirate's hanging out over there in the back corner. She came in here. She did a little shopping today. She comes in. She's like, it's not done yet. It should be done. She says that's not how she sounded, but uh, she might be right about that, but... You know, that's neither here nor there. Because I, I, today I'm happy just to get the stuff uh, broke down. And then, well, that's what the term is, breaking it down. And then I've been stacking stuff over here that's all in my way. So now I got to move some stuff because that's what a workshop does is you... Put that down. And then you eventually have to move it 18 times to be able to uh, work on something. So we're making a flip cart today. Or at least we're, we're starting on a flip cart. 
So we're using actual, believe it or not, plans here. Boom. So that's what we're making. I will have my uh, spindle sander, and then below it will be my new uh, belt disc sander on the uh, other side. I get these plans off uh, Fisher Shop. He's a YouTube channel. Uh, no way associated with him whatsoever. <laughs> no way affiliated, whatever, with him. Uh, Fisher Shop. I just really enjoy his channel. His plans are spectacular, so I purchased these from his website. Uh, so if you are a YouTube fan and you like watching uh, woodworking uh, videos on YouTube, please check out... Uh... Yes, not sponsored. Not affiliated with him whatsoever, but I really enjoy his videos. Uh, he is great to watch. Absolutely fantastic to watch, and I do enjoy. He has bloopers at the end of every single one of his uh, his videos, which is quite enjoyable as well. Um, but please go check him out because that's where I purchased uh, these plans from. So I purchased the plans from his website. So if you ask for me uh, for these plans, unfortunately, I can't give them to you because uh, I had to pay for them. And this is how some of these YouTubers make their money. And uh, I am not going to take their revenue away from them. That would be wrong. Now, uh, we all know that uh, Chevy's moral compass is uh, a little askew, and he'd probably give them to the entire interweb. But... Uh, But yeah, that's all we're going to say about that. <laughs> so since you obviously didn't finish today there, Chevy, when is the actual giveaway going to be? <laughs> when it's done not yet boss 21 uh well chevy we're it is from a plan life and pain how are you doing <laughs> Life and pain, how are you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Yes, free fall. Some, some pirates might have morals. Yes, so these plans are from Fisher Shop. Uh, he's a YouTuber. Um, I purchased these. This is true. This is true.
but yeah, life and pain. Uh, so this is uh, the Fisher's Workshop uh, YouTube uh, channel's plans. Um, I had been wanting to do a flip cart for a while. Uh, and, you know, there's quite a few different plans out there and designs on, you know, some stuff that's super simple, overly complicated. Um, but for him, I, I just, uh, the design he has for his flip cart, uh, it's not the simplest, it's not the hardest, it's like the in-between, and I really liked it. So I purchased his plans, and... Uh, we're going to build it because over here I have, so what's going to go on it is my spindle sander and my new belt disc sander is going to go on it. So that way the cart can go right here and it frees up. I'm going to do repurpose this cabinet somewhere else in the shop. I don't know where or get rid of it. Um, that way I can move one of my band saws over here because I need to make some room because my band saws kind of just get pushed around, especially now that I got the big one. And, uh, you know, I'm sure a bunch of y'all be like, you've got plenty of room. You are just busy, busy, busy. So yeah, so what, probably my small bandsaw is gonna go over here. Um, and I'm sure y'all are saying, but you got plenty of room in here, pirate. You got all the room you don't even know what to do with. Well, I mean, you start getting more tools and bigger tools to do bigger things. Uh, space fills up quickly. It fills up quite quickly. So, uh, and there's Boss Pirate. So, some of the flip carts uh, designs that are out there, they recommend that they weigh the same-ish or centered and all sorts of stuff. What I like about this is the latches that he used and the way he designed it, it really doesn't matter uh, if it weighs uh, uh, a lot less or a lot more or something like that. Uh, so it kind of uh, balances itself out a little bit. So, uh, uh, yeah, so with this design, it really doesn't matter if one's heavier than the other. Uh, by a lot or a little. Yeah, so... I mean... Here is... a picture of what he... for his final... that was his final build right there. Uh, for Fisher Shop. So, as you can see... Um, and he has the, he did the he did the flip card on a YouTube video of his. So, uh, and there's a drawer at the bottom as well too. So, so, I mean, it doesn't say that they need to be that, but I mean, uh, mine fortunately both of them are at, are are probably about the same uh, weight ish, close to it anyway. So. Because I've seen some people do like a planer on one side and then a small like belt sander on or a disc sander on uh, one side. So there's that. So how's everyone doing? Chevy coming in with that fat raid. And then I'm sure a bunch of people are like, oh, now we're going over to that pirate guy. He doesn't do anything. He just sits there and jibber jabbers and makes stew bowls.
but what are you hungry for? That's the question. Okay, so we got everything cut to size, length. So on the two by fours, we got to uh, do a little cutting on those. Let's get to that page because we have actual plans because we bought them. Because, you know, most of the time uh, we wing it around here because that's what we do. Where is the two by four page? Because I want to get everything cut to exactly what it needs to be. And then start assembly. Ooh, now that sounds tasty. Boss Pirate was uh, nice enough to pick up some uh, Burger King breakfast this morning. I do love me the Burger King breakfast. The sauce, egg, and cheese croissant is amazing. I love Burger King breakfast. Ooh, the breakfast though, their breakfast is on point and I do like their frame gr grilled burgers. Three and a quarter. <laughs> Free fall. Oh my goodness, Chevy. Loud noises. I don't know if I've ever had Culver's. I don't believe I've ever had Culver's. Safety guard, what's that? I don't see any OSHA. This. Uh, this, uh, this table saw is so old there, there wasn't many safety features. Uh, around when this saw was uh, was made yes i trimmed it all to three and a quarter and then i'm gonna go move my fence over to three inches and flip it and do the other side
Exactly, free fall. Exactly. So I did three and a quarter. Now I'm going to bump it down to three, flip it, and uh, cut the other side off to uh, get all the roundedness off and go as per the plans. Because we have plans. Because a man with a plan is something. I can't remember the rest of that. I'll probably jack that all up. Well, I don't think this even came with the uh, safety feature. This is uh, the first time I've actually had real plans myself. Most of the time, I'm just winging it. Okay, yeah, I did have planes for the teeter-totter. You got me, Chevy. You got me. I tripped a breaker. Uh, a high five. You get the virtual high five. Uh, it happens every once in a while. I mean, I try to go slow on this stuff, but this older table saw. Sucks up a lot of power. I mean, it is on a 20 amp cir a circuit as well. But still. But the, uh, the dust collection that's on the other side of that wall. 110. 110. Uh, but the uh, dust collection that's on the other side of this uh, wall right here is on the uh, the same circuit, so. And boom, what we should have, boom, look at that, exactly three inches. I do have safety push sticks, but uh, I just, I, I felt comfortable with uh, just using my hands. Mine does occasionally as you just saw, as you just saw. I've, I've had a few kickbacks myself that uh, were a little bit of an, an owie. Oh. <gasps> 
Go home for lunch, Chevy. All right, so we gotta do some notch notching na 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 notching on these uh two by fours. Where are his? This can go into the stack of doneness. Because we have notches to do on the two by fours. Oh, yes, we do. Notches, notches, notches. The notches, the notches. So, do do. On the two pieces. <laughs> Free fall, you might be right. You might be right. All right, on the two pieces, the uh, three notches moving down surface. Okay, so he really doesn't uh, specify how far over. On these, but what we'll do is find, because this is the inside of the actual flip top. So let's go over Let's say three inches and do an inch and a half notch. Let's do that. Boom.
I like that. That looks good to me. It looks good to me. And we need to go up. This is an inch and a half. inch and a half We're doing both at the same time with some <laughs> oh bless me and we're clamp them together a little clampy clamp clamp Or just notch away. What do you mean, uh, life of pain? taking me just that much time to uh, set up a data stack just to do that so sometimes it's a little bit quicker just to uh, 
do a few passes and and take your time with uh, with just notching it out like that. Do multiple passes. All right, and one of them gets a notch on the other side in the middle for power cord management on the inside. One cord. This one. Boom shakalaka. Okay. So let us work on the sides. We cut the main size of them, but we need to cut the shape of the top because that's what it's going to look like right there. So, you know, being all awesome, stacking everything where it needed to be. Let's put this circular saw away and get this out of our way. Let's do a little, a little bit of a tidy on up real quick. Let's tidy up our workspace. Because a clean workspace is a happy workspace. 
And before boss, boss Pirate uh, says anything, then your workspace better and isn't very happy now, is it? stuff in one stack boom the bottom is going to need to know stuff shelf no reshaping here are the sad the Okay. Let's get our fancy ruler out. So we can get a little more precise. I say let's get precise. Anybody got plans? Any bigger plans for the weekend besides sitting around watching the Twitch? What is up, Coop Cooper, my brother from across the water? How are you doing? Or my mofo from across the water? How are you doing? What is crack a lacking? How are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? I hope fantastic, because if not, working like a dog, huh? What are you doing? What's a... Uh, <laughs> uh, them football hooligans. So what kind of work you got going on today, Coop? What kind of work?
All sorts of disappointment, Canadian. I know. Rulers, measuring, I don't know. You'd have to kill me, huh, Coop? Man, those must be some important plans, uh, that important job you're doing. <laughs> well, I hear you. I hear you, Coop. Not much. Uh, I, w I did have a... I did have surgery about a month ago, so for about a month I didn't stream because I was recovering from that. So... I am well now, yes. Much better. It was uh it was just minor surgery. So it wasn't anything, but still with any surgery. There is still a recovery phase. <laughs> uh, you you know me too well there, Coop. You know me too well. Uh, y'all got your jokes. Yeah. Okay. 
got all. That's four and a half. Six and a half. Six. Four. Quarter. Boom. And then we can use. some double-sided tape and cut these both at the same time because why not plus that's what the plans say to do ah you know save me a uh, save me some time on uh measuring out and since i have some handy dandy double-sided tape Why will it be insufferable, Coop? Uh, I got this tape from Woodcraft a while ago there, uh, Boss Pirate. Have I been hiding this from you and not told you my secrets? Uh, because this double-sided tape is not as permanent, this is more of a temporary double-sided tape. When I need more permanent stuff, I steal the stuff from in the house. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Alex, what's going on? Hey, you got to start sometime, Coop. And I am still going to use a couple of clamps. Because I don't want this to move at all. <laughs> I am using a uh, Fisher shop YouTube channel guy Fisher shop. I'm using his plans.
He does. I do enjoy his videos as well. His vi his videos are quite amazing and hilarious. So, I did spend some buckaroonies, some doubloons on uh, purchasing these plans. So, all the wood from the neighbor. He does, but I, I I just enjoy his videos. They're just they're just funny. I do like uh, that he uses an unnecessary amount of walnut and uh, and then he uh, uh, adds the one flathead screw. <laughs> and I do like his bloopers when uh, he's talking about the, uh, you know, he's working on a fl one of the flathead screws. He's like, stupid flathead screws. So we will see how much of this we can get cut on the bandsaw and then work the rest of the way through. Uh, Fisher Shop does. stuff all over the floor. Uh, I'll have to trim that up a little bit. Just going to see how much of this we can get done with the... Uh, and saw here. And then we'll bring out the jigsaw. I'm going to be uh, limited on mistake. But that's okay. We got quite a few of the cuts done. I didn't mark anything on the other side there, Clash. I didn't mark anything on the other side. I wasn't thinking about that. But, but, this has given me the opportunity to 
I could, Alex, but this gives me the opportunity to use my new cordless jigsaw. Boom. Because why not? What am I doing wrong here? There we go. Because I have not used this yet. Exactly. It is a justified new tool purchase. That's a nice cut. Clean this up a little bit. I like it. I like it a lot. Boom. Didn't have to bring out a cord. Just slap a battery in it. Boom, bing, bada, booda, 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 boom. <laughs> now what? Oh, they're right here. I need my seven eighths fourth and a bit. Which is right here. Right here. Go through both pieces at the same time. Mmm, Chevy, you're back.
I'll tell you what, your, uh, your workshop must be really close to your home. Uh, it usually does. But you have food, and food is important. Well, I primarily do wood turning. That's not bad, Chevy. Stubos. Yes, because it has been coined. Every bowl that I make, or be it whatever I turn, it is stew related. Because chat has deemed it so. Everything is stew related. So this will be more than likely a stew flip cart because everything is stew related as per se the chat. This is true. This is true. All right, we have cut the side. Now. Where is, because I know the top is going to be, here we go. Ooh. Make sure you think that uh, Boss Pirate, she is the mailer of the stuff. She does my mailing for me. All right. She is the best. She's the best around. No one's ever gonna keep her down. All right. So these are the sides and they are done. We'll just keep those together. Uh, boom. We need this piece, and we have to do some more measuring. I know, measuring.
Yes, the newest of of pirate stickers. Need to just a smidge. Even as straight as I tried to do it. And we're going to freehand. Freehand, straight cut. That's what we do around here. Because every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. That's what they say, right? Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. It is whatever I'm say. This is my stream. What I say goes. And sometimes what Boss Pirate says. Oh, Clash got some, uh, some funny emotes to be going. There's a mess in here. Somebody should clean it up. Okay. Make sure we're looking at the right side. 25 and a half. 25 and a half. Okay. We're going to go up. It is like dad level stuff. What the hell measurement is that? Got to bring out the magnifying glass. Jeez. Okay, so, okay, that's what it is. It's three quarters.
I don't know what you're talking about. I would never. What's wrong with those? Huh? Huh? There's nothing wrong with those. Those things are actually pretty cool. See, I'm not the only one. Not that I'm saying I have any of those, but I actually uh, had eye surgery years ago to uh, get my vision corrected. So, I mean, I got 20-20 in one eye and 20-40 in the other, but I mean, honestly... This little didn't print, it's not large enough to read. All right. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Say we can do most of this on the bedtime and clean it up. So we'll do that. We shall do that. Enough, huh?
we do a little clean up with the with the jigsaw. Just a little bit of a cleaning, clean, clean, clean up. Boom! Boom shakalaka. <laughs> what? What are you talking? The sander I post. Oh, yes. <laughs> Rehoma pet. Well, I mean, there's a lot of us, you know, a lot of uh, uh, amateur. Uh, It is house trained. Uh, uh, depends on uh, how careful your kids are, because I mean, uh, with anything that sands wood with high grit of paper, you know, they get a finger or a knuckle in there, woof, off comes the skin. So, I mean, it all depends. But, uh, I mean, there's a lot of amateur uh, trying to get started woodworkers in the uh, guild Discord. So, if someone has happens to uh, live close to me or wants to pay for the uh, the shipping cost, which would be, um, in my opinion, kind of silly due to the fact that, uh, yes, absolutely, Clash, uh, which you could probably find one on uh, Craigslist or OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace for price of shipping is some of that some somewhere, but if someone happens to live close, wants to stop by and take it, it's theirs, because, I mean, uh, uh, it was something I did not pay for myself uh, years ago. Um, so if someone happens to co lives close, it's looking for some something they might have to put a little work into, uh, it is theirs. Theirs for the taking. Let me put my stuffs back on my Ben saw before I forget because it's what I do. I forget things sometimes. I am forgetful. Uh, a new stream who dis what's up battle dinosaur how you doing what's crack a lacking we are working on a flip cart this mm, pilot I was only on till about 11.30ish, midnight-ish last night. 
uh, finishing up the new tall tails. Uh, 100% all of them except the last one because of course the last one it uh, some of the stuff that you have to do you have to run through it twice so I got to do that at some point Up until three. Yeah, you had me beat You had me beat Four forts now, are we talking like Fort of the Damned, Fort of Fortune, or regular forts? Which forts are we talking about? Because I'll tell you what, if I had to come across you last night stacking forts, that would have been my loot. I'm just saying. Oh, so Battle Dinosaur, uh, the other night when I was playing with my buddies, uh, we were doing tall tales. We came out of the portal and we came by a plunder outpost and we noticed the Fort of the Damned was up and there was a galleon there and we run a brigantine. So we went over there real quick before starting our next tall tale. Because that's we just planned on doing tall tales. We're like, okay, Fort of the Damned's up. Let's go check it out. There was a galleon there. Apparently they were stacking like you did. We get there, I get on board, I run through the captain's quarters, and I notice a couple of Athena. I'm like, these guys have been stacking four to the damned. They got at least two Athenas. Stack a lack, and that's right. I was like, these guys got at least two Athenas. We run around, I kill them, we sink them. We pulled eight Athenas out of the water. Eight. Eight! They've been stacking four to the damned eight times. Yeah, wowza, that's right. So we pull those out of the water as much of the other stuff we could uh, before they start rumbling, tumbling back in. And, you know, most of the time, if. Four skulls. So, you know, most of the time, and most of the time, it doesn't, if, uh, you know, we were, all of a sudden we're speaking Greek, Clash, we're talking, we're talking about Sea of Thieves. It's a video game. <laughs> it's, a, it's a video game, Sea of Thieves. Battle Dinosaur plays as well. Uh, you know, if, so, if we sink somebody and they come back in, Yes, Sea of Thieves. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to sit there and fight them, but when we sink somebody and we steal eight Athena chest, we're, we're not going to sit around and, you know, let them try to get it back. So we pull as much as we can out of the water. They come rumbling, tumbling back in, and we take off. And they're chasing us and chasing us, and we do a pass by plunder, and two of the guys jump off with two of the Athenas, sell those real quick, and we keep sailing around, sailing around. We try to do uh, a boarding and anchoring them so we can get further away from them. And we just can't, they, they keep on ladder guarding. We can't get away from them. So we go by Ancient Spire. Uh, I, the only thing I need to work on is my, uh, um, I do like Fallout 4 Clash. Uh, but I need to work. I got 75 and everything. I need to work on my uh, l uh, pirate legend status. I'm only 11 on that, almost 12. So I'm just checking these these plans real quick. Make sure we don't need any more cuts. Um, so we uh, go by Ancient Spire, and I'm like, guys, I'm gonna grab. I'm 43 in Hunters, I believe, but you got me beating Athena. Um, so we go by Ancient Spire, and I jump off with a random chest, making them think that I'm trying to do a drive-by with an Athena. Well, they're paying attention to me jump off and go on land when my other buddy jumps off, noodle arms them all to death, anchors them, they get spun completely around, and poof, we get away.
Oh, yeah, you got to rub that in, Battle Dinosaur. So as soon as they do that, I didn't have, I had like a gold or a captain's chest or something. Uh, this guy on these does their Alex. So we spun them all the way around and then I sell whatever captain's chest I have. And then I go up on board and they had quit. Once my buddy noodle armed him to death and they were done and spun all the way around and my other buddy was sailing away, that was it. They were done. Done, son. They said, no moss for us, and they just quit. <laughs> it's funny. He says, approximate cost of materials, $115. Yeah, pre-corona. Pre-coronavirus. All right, so it wants us to start off building the drawer because we have everything cut to where we need it. Oh, I have this small box out here, uh, Boss Pirate. This might be good for something. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, uh, the three quarter and a half inch I bought yesterday. Granted, it's not as high as it was at its peak because at its peak, I think a three quarter inch sheet of plywood would cost me almost a hundred bucks. <laughs> right, Alex? At, at the peak, it would probably cost me close to a hundred dollars just for that one sheet of three quarter inch plywood at the, the, the peak of the prices on the uh, plywood. It would have been redonkulous. Um, but the three quarter inch plywood was 67 uh, post wood apocalypse. That's right, Clash. Um, but this one was only $67. So it wasn't as bad, but still not as good as it was pre post wood apocalypse. So, because uh, when I, I had a bunch of the, most of the hardware screws and everything, so I, I tell the wife, I'm like, hey, I'm going to go buy some, uh, some of the stuff so I can make that cart. And she's like, how much is it going to cost? And I said, around 200 construction grade anything especially pressure treated is stupid i mean even two by fours wall stud two by fours are still almost ten dollars a piece i just want them to know that it's not me talking i'm you i'm i'm saying i'm talking as if it was you so they know that it was you talking I mean, granted, you might not sound like that in person, but I just want to be clear that it's, you know, different people. It's like a book, and you have different people in the book, and you're reading a story. You want to have different voices. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But it's like you're reading a story, and you got to have different voices for everyone. It might not be exactly what their voices should be, True, Chevy. This is true. You do have a point. You have an absolute point there. Uh. Battle dinosaur. It's the voices in my head. That's right. That hole is the deepest. The deepest. Battle Dinosaur. If I don't have your address, 
Uh, make sure. Uh, I might have it. Just whisper it to me or shoot me a DM uh, just to make sure I still have it. There we go. Boss Pirate has spoken. Yes, Boss Pirate is the keeper of the addresses and the mailing of stuffs. It's what she does. She's the best around. No one's ever gonna keep her down. She was sending Monday, Monday, Monday. Thank you for that follow, Poco. Thank you. Welcome to my workshop. How are you doing? Momo sent me some stickers recently as well. She sent me quite a few stickers. I got a couple of them on the bandsaw back there. Uh, I'm tone deaf, Chevy. So thank you for uh, saying that. Uh, but yeah, I'm tone deaf. So everything is out of key. But thank you for noticing, Chevy. It is very sweet of you. I appreciate it. So we have everything cut to what it needs to be, hopefully, as per the instructions. It is assembly time, but we will do assembly tomorrow. We'll start on assembly tomorrow. I was just ecstatic, ecstatic to get everything cut to ready to assemble tomorrow. So tomorrow we will start on assembly. Assembly. Autobots, assemble. So we shall find somebody to raid. Anybody got some suggestions? Let's see who's on right now. Who is on? Who do we got? Ooh, Swiss is on. Yes, that's what I see, Swiss. What's he working on? Once I watch the obligatory ad, just make sure he's not gonna be like doing any like quitting soon just to double check we got to double check yeah i see hike and i don't know if i will follow the guitars person let's see what swiss is up to oh he's doing his 300 followers celebration let's go over to swiss that is awesome. Let's go over to Swiss. He's doing his 300 follower celebration. That is awesome. You do as well, Tink. Everyone, thank you for the new follows today. Thank you for the raids that came in today. We got a wolf womb raid. We got a Chevy raid. Awesome sauce, everyone. Thank you. I will see y'all back out here tomorrow. Mmm. -hmm. See you later there, mm, Chevy guy. But let's go over to Swiss. Let's help him celebrate his 300 followers. That is awesome, because we just did our 500 the 
on Tuesday. So that's awesome when somebody is celebrating a milestone like that. Absolutely amazing. But I will catch you all tomorrow at the normal pirate time of around noon, 1 o'clock uh, Eastern time. So let's go over to Swiss and say hi to him. Y'all have a fantastic evening. Bye-bye!